Hi, Radio Zazzo here. I thought I'd talk a little today about the uh, scriptwriter's role in corporate media. Um, the two people that have the most impact on any corporate show most times are the writer and the director. Um, the writer creates the framework that the director will then take to the field and turn into live pictures that will be edited into a program. Uh, and I've said before many times that a uh, good director working with a bad script probably won't work uh, because no matter what the director does, if he follows a poorly written script, that's, uh, that's not going to work out well. So we'll go over some of the some of the basics of script writing here, and I want to tell you in advance that these are the a basic framework for producing a good script. But there are many many different situations we know of where if you're shooting social media style something, it might be a couple of notes scribbled someplace. You might do one of these steps I'm talking about, or two, maybe not all. If it's a large budget show or a commercial that's uh, pretty big, you're probably going to follow these steps through, and it, and you should know them either way because they are the proven way to uh, create a good script. If you're not already, you might get familiar with the term POTS. It's actually an acronym, Proposal Outline Treatment Script. Um, and I've turned the, the proposal into what I call the PNA, which is uh, Program Needs Analysis. And that's the first document the writer works on. The writer needs to get with the client and work out some basic uh, design details that will tell him or her what type of show to write. As an example, the audience, uh, who are they? How many of them are they? How old are they? Or how educated are they? Do they have biases about or against uh, this, this topic? Uh, you know, so, that's, so it's important to know who that audience is. Um, objectives. It's important also to get with a client and work out some specific objectives the show will solve. Um, and specific is always good. Spe specific, excuse me, and time sensitive. Um, when once the program is shown, an employee will be able to state this, that, or the other three points. Once having viewed the program, the employee will be able to execute a sales function as uh, per the procedure. You know, specific uh, specific objectives are important. Another one is use. How will the program be used? Is it going to be streamed live? Is it going to be put on DVD? Is it going to be put on a link on YouTube and people you know, go to it and, and watch it that way? There's a lot of different ways there. And that has an impact, too, on the show. So, And the last thing I would say is the basic problem. Every show, though the client may not even know it, has a basic problem that they're solving. It may be uh, salespeople don't know the three steps of consultative selling or truck drivers don't know the latest uh, techniques for backing safely, you know. Uh, so it could be a number of things. But those are the four elements that should be good in a, in a program needs analysis. Next comes the content outline. And that's where the facts now come in, okay. Uh, all of the facts that are going to be uh, uh, used in the show, placed in a nice logical order to where they could be structured and read out to a client and make sense and cover the topic completely content outline. Um, then comes treatment. The treatment um, is basically a telling of the script without all the camera terms. Should be kept simple and straight and tell the story visually as the client can expect to see it on the screen. But again, not with the you know, wide shot this or high shot dolly, any of that stuff. Just the, the straight story by itself. Finally comes the fourth document and that's the script. And the script now is a culmination of all of what the writer has been putting together into the actual shooting document the director is going to use, that framework we talked about. So it does have the dialogue in it, or the narration, and it's got the camera terms and, the, and whatnot. And again, many of these things are in the book. You'll, you'll see more of them there. Um, a script shouldn't be cluttered with a lot of screen directions. A script should also be very simple. Um, when I was a young writer, I thought I had to put in uh, dolly this way or high angle and all this other stuff. Well, the director is going to decide that. Your job is to write it. Write it in a nice, clean, simple, uh, but visual way that the director can then say, okay, I see this. Now I'm going to do this with a dolly shot or I'm going to do a low angle here or whatever the case may be. So it's more describing the story with clean, simple terms. Um, <clears throat> the director will shoot it. It'll go to the edit bay with the director and the producer and the editor, and they'll cut the show together. And then 
it's a good policy to come back to that PNA that you did up front, that design document, sit down with a client, look at the show and say, did it do what we said it was going to do? This is the audience we talked about. Does it fit them? Will it work for them? These are the objectives we said it would solve or the objectives we could do with it. Does it do solve those objectives? This was the problem. Did we solve the problem? As I said, there's a lot more in the book on this, and um, but I hope these steps help you kind of put in, in uh, reference what a scriptwriter's job is. Thanks, and uh, good writing.